Hi there and welcome to this uh, speed video tutorial for Curves to Mesh. So a user sent me this shape and asked how I, they would model it in the Curves to Mesh add-on in Blender. So I thought with a new update which stops you from having to split all the curves up every time you need to use an intersecting edge this would be a lot quicker. So I thought I'd give it a try. So first off I use the Images as Planes add-on to import the image and then I have just traced an outline of the shape using um, a simple point that I just extrude over and over uh, to create the curve around it. I then convert the handle types to free uh, to uh, create a curved shape. So you can see that there. So once I've done this, then I start blocking in the inner part of the shape. Uh, so you can see here that there's kind of like this sort of curved extrusion going on in the, sh in the uh, wing. Uh, which is a bit hard to replicate. So I start blocking out the inner curves as I see them and I keep trying to make the curves um, uh, produce as nice a topology as possible. So I create this by sort of creating patches uh, and the Curves to Mesh add-on then fills in those patches uh, with quads. So you can hear I've got the overall shape here but of course I need to also do the kind of inner curves uh, to create the uh, shape of the wing. So now I'm creating curves inside the uh, outer curve uh, and slowly going around the shape creating different patches as I go. So you can see here I'm splitting up the curves a little bit uh, and creating new curves inside to create the overall topology. So here you go again. I'm also um, create also selecting the curves inside uh, and moving them along the z-axis to create start to create the overall shape. So slowly but surely, I'm moving the shape in the way I want it. So you can see here now as well. I'm creating this. Uh, inner supporting curve uh, because this was the trickiest part of the shape to kind of get that pinch in the middle uh, correct uh, and I started off with this middle supporting curve uh, but you'll see when I start to assess the topology at the end I've decided, uh, decided in the end to delete that curve because it was uh, creating too much complexity and actually keeping things as simple as possible uh, creates a much smoother shape So here I'm always kind of working to, to create patches, so um, uh, two by two squares essentially uh, to fill in the shapes. <laughs> and then what Curves to Mesh does is it, it, when it sees an intersection of those curves, it will, it will create patches. So I'm using the uh, Curves to Mesh preview mode here, which is all the blue uh, and green dots just to start assessing the topology is like a preview before I actually create the mesh. So I've created the overall shape now so I'm, I'm happy to at least to start with with the overall shape that I was trying to achieve. So I'm having a look here along the profiles just to see if I'm happy with the topology of it all. Then you'll start to see me use a little trick here after creating the mesh for real. So that's the button in the lower lowest part of the panel. And I've actually moved into shaded view and I'm using the car paint matte cap, uh, which is really shiny. And this is a topology, this is a tip I got from AD Burroughs. So you can start to see that I'm kind of moving it around a little bit. It's a little bit quick in the video, but I've started to go, mm, I don't really like that inner curve uh, because it's it's creating too many faces, really. And although I can control the number of faces in, ad, in the Curves to Mesh add-on, I'd rather just have a sort of overall shape that I can easily reproduce. So here you can see I've actually deleted that. And with a new update, Curves to Mesh can 
quickly see uh, without any problems that uh, uh, it just needs to retopologize. And here's the overall shape that I got. So as I say, it took me it took me just over an hour, I would say, to kind of get that overall shape. Uh, I'm sure uh, there's some improvements that could be made, um, and um, I'm sure some uh, topology experts uh, uh, could make a much better job than I did. But that's the overall workflow I use uh, for curves to mesh when I want to create something like that. So I hope you found that useful. Um, and if you did like this video, uh, I'll do more of them. So please like and subscribe as well. Uh, and thank you very much for listening.